welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today because today I'm going to be doing a very a fall time makeup tutorial. Can you tell my background and my lip and my eye? Oh my god. Fall time is quaking. I asked you guys on Twitter what look you wanted to see and everybody said a cranberry smoky eye. So I decided to do a look that involved quite a bit of cranberry but add a little bit of extra to it because Manny and Kelly Strack also did cranberry looks on their channel. They were super super beautiful so I'm actually going to link some videos and reviews on my palette down below if you want to see more of that and you really 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 want to see cranberry all over smoky eye. Both of them did that look so I didn't want to do it too and it'd be like oh my gosh cranberry eye galore. So I wanted to add like a cut crease and use a, a couple of shades I didn't use last time and add some more matte in and show you guys how to use those. Also, I wanted to shout out Pinterest because I got inspired off Pinterest on this look right here. Can you see her? I don't know who she is. There's her name. It is K-R-I-N-D underscore underscore. So that's her handle and um, she inspired my look today. So shout out to her. Beautiful look and I kind of did my own little take on it with my palette and oh my god I'm so excited guys. We're so close to launch date. We're like eight or nine days away. I don't know when this video is going to go live but we're like eight or nine days away which is getting really close and I'm really excited. So guys be sure and mark your calendars and set your alarms for 10 a.m. PST time. So excited but I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm ready for this moment. I'm ready. Also, I added wing liner today, and I know this is a random side note, but I haven't done a wing liner on my channel in like literally months. It's been forever. I don't know why I abandoned my wing liner, but I just ran into a gel liner that I love a lot, so it kind of got me wanting to do it again. So I talk about that gel liner in this video. Again, all the information about my palette and the other products used on my face are down in the description box down below, so don't forget to check that out. And I think that is my 900 announcement, so we can go ahead and then jump into the video but first we gotta sing a special little song be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave subscribe i'm out of focus and we'll go ahead and jump right into the video okay so we're gonna get started i know a lot of you guys came here to see the eye look and we're gonna use none other than my very own palette that I created all by myself, Cast Pajamas. So, we're also gonna talk a little bit more about the palette because now that I post my video, oh, I was like, please God tell me there's nothing in my teeth. <laughs> but just because I posted my video on the palette and I got, you know, a lot of more questions, so I was able to answer the questions. Sometimes you don't know all the questions you're gonna get asked until you film a video on it. Let's go ahead and jump in and get started. First, I'm gonna go in with the M537 brush, which is just a big fluffy brush. I like raspy bristles like this. I also have my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre already applied to my eyes. And first, I'm gonna go in with my Okie Doki, which is a matte shade. And it is somewhat transparent. You can build it up, but I have it that that way, that way you can kind of blend it all over and soften up your eyeshadow primer. And I like to use this color with a fluffy blendy brush. And I'm just applying it all over, which is going to help us blend everything out. Next, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Cray Cray. Actually, I'm going to mix Cray Cray and Bomb Diggity. Bomb Diggity, Cray Cray. Cray Cray. I'm also going to be using an R39 brush from Morphe. So there we go. We have the colors mixed. Just applying this color. It's a very pigmented color, as you guys can see. Look how much pigment just came off. I'm just applying it into the crease as our transition shade. We're gonna have more of a pop with transition today, which is totally fine. Buff it on out too. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here, just buffing out this transition shade, taking it up a little bit high. A lot of people ask me why I named the palette Cat's Pajamas, and I'm so sorry I didn't answer that. That is something I should have answered more so or touched on more so in my original video. And it is kind of a southern thing. It kind of means it pretty, well, it means something of excellence. It means if something's great, it's the cat's pajamas. And people say it's the cat's pajamas, which doesn't technically have to do with cats, just like the bee's knees. It's, it's just like a kind of a southern saying of something that's great or excellent, and that's what this palette is, or else it wouldn't be for sale right now. So, with that being said, that is why I named it the cat's pajamas, and I really, really, really I heard the name. My husband actually said the name, and I was literally like, that is the eyeshadow palette name. That's the name. So if you can see, I kind of have this blown out a little bit more than I normally do, not quite packed down as tight. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit of, I'm going to actually mix Quirky and out the other. This is a purpley shade that is more of a satin matte shimmer mix hybrid color. And then this one is a shimmer and I'm going to mix them together. I'm going to buff them in the outer corner. I'm going to take an E17 brush, which is actually a smaller blending brush than the R39, the one I was just using. And as I've told people, out the other, here's me tapping in it. If you can see, it has a 
little bit more kick up. So you don't wanna go too heavy handed with this, but I think I touched on that in the original video already. And I'm just going to push it right there. I was gonna put a brown in this palette, like a dark brown, but then I wanted to put something with a little bit of spice to it. So I put out the other in it, and as you can see, it's like a dark purple, but yet has a brown undertone that has like a touch of sparkle to it. The sparkle is not powerful. It does not show up and do not let it scare you out of using it. It's still a really pretty color and it blends very easily. And so I just wanted to add like something that has a touch of color in this palette to really zhuzh things up, if that makes sense. And if you can see, there's a little bit of fallout right here from out the other. Out the other does have just a touch more fallout than the other colors. I'm gonna go back in with my clean blender and just soften all this area up. I'm gonna go back to my Art 39 and grab a touch of Kooky, which is our maroon with a brown undertone shade. And I'm just gonna flip the brush up and really try to make this a little bit more cranberry vibe going. I'm gonna blend this more so back and forth towards the top of the eye, taking it a little bit higher. And that way, whenever I cut the crease, later it doesn't take off too much of the shadow and then you can even go in with this clean blender like i'm doing which was the first brush that we used you can just blend everything out making sure everything's seamless and gradient and that there's no harsh lines going on also put a touch of in one ear which is the cranberry shade i'm gonna start to blend that in the crease I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the cranberry. You guys really requested for me to use the cranberry shade. And just cranberry it out a little bit more. R39 brush, pushing it into the outer corner. And if you can see, I'm really, really, really softly moving it forward. Now, one of my favorite parts is cutting the crease. So I'm gonna take, this is a M425. It's a flat synthetic brush, which is what I recommend using whenever you're cutting a crease. I'm gonna go back in with my MAC Pink Pot in Soft Ochre, getting a little bit on both sides of the brush. We're just gonna cut it out and you can apply this right on top of your shadow and the MAC Paint Pond does a really great job of coating I'm gonna go in with some Redonculus now, and I'm gonna take, this is a Smith 302 brush. It's a little bit of a smaller synthetic flat brush, and whenever you use any of the shimmers in my palette, I recommend using to pack on color, not dusting it on with any type of fluffy blender like this. It's just gonna explode everywhere, kinda, and that kinda goes for every shimmer. So the color's dry on my brush, and I'm gonna show you it dry. I'll also show you it wet, in case you wanna use it both ways, but I'm gonna pack on the color right here and then put it on top of my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. So that is it dry all over my eyes and we're gonna add a little bit more. We're gonna wet it a little bit and make it truly a more metallic shade. With the same brush, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Scatterbrain, which is our lighter gold shade. It's super shimmery. And I'm going to apply this right in front or kind of sort of on top, mixing Redonculus kind of like right in there. Not taking it all the way in, but kind of mixing it right on in. And with the same brush, I'm gonna take some Quirky, which is our shimmery purple that we used just a touch of earlier. And I have it on my brush. I'm just gonna pack it on that outer corner to like deepen that up a little bit more. We're gonna apply a wing liner today, which I literally have not done that in like a month. I don't even know, like, do I know how to do wing liner still? I don't really know. And I'm just taking Quirky and I'm just popping it. I'm kind of patting it in that outer corner and then I'm also gonna pat it right there wherever we get into Redonculus. That way there's no harsh line right there. I've cleaned off the same brush. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Okie Doki, which was the first color we used and I'm gonna pack it on. You can build it up, but if you don't want it to be white on your eye or this cream bone shade on your eye, it doesn't have to be. Sometimes I avoid using colors that are super, 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 pigmented to soften up an eyeshadow primer or help to blend out a look and so that's why it was very important for me for okie dokie to be a little bit of both you can use it in many ways it just depends on what tools you're using and how you're applying it this is a sigma l04 it's like a tiny little nugget brush it's so cute and i'm gonna take oddball which is our black shade that's actually all throughout the roots of my whole entire hair with me trying to cover up my gray hair <laughs> and i use oddball every day i count on it every day to help me out in that area so I'm just gonna nudge this in the outer corner and you don't want to go in with too much black because as we discussed it can really overtake your look and that's why I'm using such a tiny precise brush. Sometimes I feel like if I whisper the colors will fill my soft vibes I'm giving it and they won't overpower my look. Sometimes you can just talk to your makeup you know you're just like please cooperate. Please God. <laughs> I'm gonna take this pretty vulgar black gel liner and this is a little liner brush and we're gonna wang it out. 
So there's our wing liner. I've really been liking this gel liner and I also like pretty vulgar pencil liners. They make some good freaking liners. So then I'm gonna clean out this outer corner as well because there's a little bit of shadow down here. When we were blending, I'm just gonna take a wipe and go and clean that up. I'm gonna do my other eye and I'll be right back. Our wing liner is done and if you can see, it's just a cut crease. Cranberry smoky with a little bit of purple and gold and then a matte. We actually dipped into a matte color this time and then a matte cut crease kind of in there, kind of a mix. You could actually take out the gold if you wanted to and do just a cranberry smoky with a matte all the way through if you didn't want the glitz and the glam. I did, so now I'm gonna work on my face a little bit and then I'm going to finish the lower lash line. First, I'm gonna start off with this Revlon Photo Red perfecting primer and I'm just gonna do a pea size amount of it I'm gonna rub it in between my fingers this really warms it up and helps me to distribute the product and then I'm gonna apply it in the areas where my pores annoy me I'm gonna use my hourglass vanish foundation and this is in shade beige I always tell people they're like what are your what's your foundation or what's your favorite and I always resort to this foundation a lot because it never fills me. It just always does me so right. I like to apply a lot of this product and it's just the way I like to use it and if you don't want to apply this much I totally get that. I like my full coverage. I like a lot of foundation. I also like to spend a lot of time blending it out with my Y6 brush from Morphe. I did a meet and greet this past weekend and one of the, my subscribers brought her Y6 brush from Morphe in for me to sign and it made me so happy. I know you guys may think I have a lot of moments and that I forget special things but there's just so many moments that I'll never forget my whole entire life and stuff like that like means so much to me and like when people wear my merch to my meet and greet I was it just it just I don't know, it's surreal, but I feel like surreal is a word that's used so much that it doesn't have that special touch to it anymore. It's like more than surreal to me. It's just like a moment that I'll never forget, and it's so special. Once that is all blended out, by the way, if you're wondering what this is, I burned myself with a curling iron on my forehead, getting ready for my meet and greet. It went tsk, and I was like, great, now we're going to have a red bump on my head, and now we ha it's turning brown. Great. Now I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time, and this is in the shade Custard. This just does a really good job of covering me, where my bags are heavy, and baby girl, they ain't Chanel. Also, it doesn't crease so much on me, and I feel like it lasts long. I've probably bought 50 of these in my lifetime. So I'm just going to take the same brush, the Y6. It's really great for blending out cream products. It's a flat top kabuki. It's a pretty simple brush, to be honest, but it just does such a good job. So I'm gonna blend out this concealer, and as you can see, the concealer too, it just blends out easy peasy lemon squeezy. Try not to hit that wing liner. God forbid the concealer swipes across my wing and ruins my day. I'm like, oh God, no. I'm gonna take this E49 brush. I'm gonna get the powder on here, and I'm just going to pack it on the under eye. And I like this brush because it has that tapered shape on it, so it's really nice to get up in that under eye area. And just put it where the concealer is. Also, I like to drag it down my smile lines because the smile lines like to play games with me throughout the day and torture me and haunt me. So I like to set them with powder, which helps tame the beast. Basically, where you put concealer, you want to pack on a little bit of powder. Always make sure and set your concealer. Just please just set it. So today, I'm going to be using the bronzer from Estee Lauder X Victoria Beckham. I like this bronzer a lot. I used it in a try it out video, and it turns out that I love it. It's very smooth gliding on. So I'm going to use a little deeper one called Java Sun, and I'm going to apply this with a, let me find my brush. Let me find my brush. Okay, this is an Art 14 brush. It's just a medium contour brush, not too big. I also have powder on, which is okay, because even if this brush bumps some of that powder, it just blends it into my skin. So no reason to fret there, and I just allow that powder to set. So I'm just gonna blend that around the temple area and just like swoop it all the way around and hit the temples. I just got some of the black from my hair into the bronzer brush, brush, and if you can see, I'm now gray. Cool. I was like, why is this contour like so deep and like cool tone all of a sudden? And I'm like, oh. I get it. I get what I did. Cool. That's cute. Just a day in the life of Larley. I want my own reality TV show, but I would have to be a producer so they wouldn't be able to manipulate the show and make me look like a bad person when I'm not because you know they always do that on reality TV shows to get like the ratings up. I'm also going to go ahead and hit that jawline with this bronzer too without the black in it so I don't have a five o'clock shadow like my contour. One of my favorite blushes lately has been the Flower Beauty. This is their Peach Promise blush. I I'm a sucker for a matte or shimmer or peach blush. I'm just a sucker for a peach blush in general. General, and this one is very nice. All their blushes are really nice from Flower Beauty. This is Drew Barrymore's makeup line at Walmart. Oh, that's a peachy cheek. Peach cane. So for highlight, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Scatterbrain, which is this goldy color right here. I'm going to just apply Scatterbrain and get like a touch 
of a golden highlight. It's very blinding. I'm gonna take a little bit of scatterbrain on my finger and just apply it on my nose. Scatterbrain doubles as a cheek highlight, it doubles as a nose highlight, and you can highlight the inner corner and the brow bone with it as well. It's kind of a multi-use color in the palette. You know your girl's got you covered on that. So I'm actually gonna pop just a little bit of scatterbrain right here. You can hit it with the brow bone just a little bit, just a touch, if you can see, just a tiny, tiny touch. All right, let's finish the lower lash line and add some lashes for God's sake. First, I'm gonna mix together these two shades, Bombadiggity and Cray Cray on this Mariah Carey. It's like a flat brush. It's great. It's a little bit fluffy, a little bit flat, and it's great for the lower lash line. I'm literally barely touching my skin, if you can see. We got pigment, baby. I'm gonna take a Morphe 326 brush. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a little bit of Quirky and out the other, which is this shade. I'm just gonna sweep it from inner to outer corner, but if you can tell, I'm taking it and I'm keeping it a little bit closer to the lower lash line. That way the darker color is not dragged too far down, which can make your eye look a little bit droopy. I'm just gonna take some black liner. This one is not working. Okay, very good. These Make It Forever ones normally work. I might need to warm it up. I'm gonna try to warm it up actually to get it going. Cause these uh, Make It Forever ones are normally really good. So let's try it again. There she goes, that a girl. Today for lashes, we're using Lila, which are just some fluffy, drama of course drama 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 lashes for lips because I absolutely cannot decide I'm gonna go in and do a nude and then I'm gonna do a color so you kind of get best of both worlds this is a makeup forever lip pencil number 12 and then I'm gonna go in with no shade from Desi Katie collection with those colors such a pretty nude ladies I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of strip down so here it is with the nude lip Next, for the darker color, I'm gonna add on Tarte Acid Wash, and this is a liquid lipstick, and just apply this all over. Ooh, girl, that is dark. Well, I'm committed now. And now we really have a deep, dark, fall grungy look. Ooh, it's like so witchy and Halloween-y with this background. Oh my God, I'm loving these vibes, okay. Lots of loving that it's not on my teeth. That is it for this look, guys. Like I said, if you wanted to take the gold or ridiculous bronze out and just do cranberry and white you could totally do that for a more cranberry look this judges it up a little bit more also i did the nude in the darker lip option so you got some options for fall time i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial remember my palette launches on october 13th did I sign it? <laughs> and it launches at 10 a.m. PST time at laurelylosangeles.com. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Jazz hands. And that's it for this video. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.